Well, hey, we've got uh, Tyler Gibbs on the phone, number 221. Raced uh, the Arlington Supercross on the weekend, made the night show. Tyler, man, uh, thanks for chatting with us about it. And where are you right now? Uh, yeah, thanks for having me on, Billy. Um, back at uh, Rainier, uh, Robbie Rayner's place. Uh, we're riding Supercross today. Just uh, wrapped up a day of riding and getting uh, getting prepped for uh, Daytona. Nice. Hey, last time we spoke, because we talked right after you finished your GT Arena Motocross Series, you mentioned you weren't like 100% sure you'd be able to get yourself to Daytona. So this sounds positive. Yeah, we, uh, we I got it uh, sorted out now. Uh, just with like driving and fuel and hotels i we got the driving part covered now we gotta just uh i gotta sit down today with uh my mechanic and we gotta just go over hotels and <laughs> where we want to stay and stuff like that because it is uh it's, it's gonna be expensive this week because it's bike week daytona like when we, were, when we were in arlington we got a hotel the one night and it was 118 bucks the next night was like 300 because it was super cross weekend and yeah, there's right. a baseball game going on so it's uh a lot more planning than I uh, maybe anticipated, but uh, that's that's part of it, and it's it's fun to sort all this stuff out. All right, welcome to privateer life, man. You got to uh, you're just <laughs> fighting to get week to week, huh? Yeah, it's uh, I mean it's tough, but I get to chase my dreams, and I wouldn't want to do it. Uh, I wouldn't want to do anything else. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, aside from the racing, where obviously you want to perform, it's the stuff in between that you'll remember forever, too, man. All this stuff you're doing right now and all getting the, Yeah, all the practicing, swapping suspension, uh, bike work, working out, um, just just everything. Just trying to figure out where you're gonna eat, where we're gonna, where, you know, where we're gonna sleep, how we're getting here, there. It's uh, it's stressful, but uh, making memories with uh, with everyone, especially like on the weekend. It was Sean's first time, like being down on the floor as a mechanic Thanks. and he had like the biggest smile on his face he loved it so uh it was uh it was it was sweet uh, it's funny it's funny you, you mentioned kind of the stuff about uh figuring it all out because people kind of laugh at me or whatever but i tell you man as soon as i leave my driveway and i don't really know what's next uh, that's that's what i love yeah it's it's uh it's a cool feeling you're like okay like are we staying like so we uh drive to the race this weekend my girlfriend booked a hotel for us um uh my girlfriend booked a hotel for us the pictures she showed us look good we show up the windows are all tinted out i should have known right from the get-go that that was a bad idea uh -oh. go in get our get a room key to drive around the front looks good we see a prostitute come down the stairs and i'm like oh boy <laughs> so we hang around the corner and there is the two most beat trucks i've ever seen like this guy has an extension cord and a grill that runs into his hotel room we walk into our room the tv's crooked it's there's like drill marks through <laughs> the wall no hot water sheets are dirty it looked like the door was like had been like replaced like the front you know how you have to like scan your card i sat down on the bed we ate and i'm like i feel disgusting like we got to get out of here so uh. we went back to the front desk i'm like i want my money back got our money back and went and stayed at a better place i mean it cost me a little bit more money but i didn't like i wasn't feeling like i was gonna die in my sleep because of some squirrely crackhead dude trying to come steal a, steal our stuff so uh <laughs> just that right there it's like holy like we just we just did that so it's uh it's super cool and it's just funny to situations you get into so yeah, it's, uh, it's weird at the time yeah. but uh if, if you're able to kind of understand that it's going to be good to look back on while you're doing and that's a that's a that's a that's a win right there yeah it is for sure <laughs> hey okay so all right so now we're uh, let's talk about this because some people and i mean jeff crutcher the uh creo ktm team owner he kind of mm -hmm. mentioned that you know first time riders first time supercross guys that's not uh 100 the case right obviously you made a nice show in san diego and when was that uh yeah well I was like 41st in San Diego, so I didn't like technically make it in. Somebody got hurt, and I got in as an alternate. And it's been it's been four years. Like 2020 is a while ago, and I haven't really rode any supercar. Like obviously, we ride supercars at home, but we ride it once a year. <laughs> it's not like we have a it's not like we have a you know a supercross track that we can ride all year round type of thing. So yeah, it's been a couple couple years, and uh, yeah, we uh, I got in qualified. There's like 65 people, and I'm. I can tell you after first practice, I was stiff as a two by four, and I'm like, man, if I don't, if I don't relax, we are not going to the night show. So, uh, uh, yeah, I just uh, had to had to relax, and it was awesome. I had Robbie there uh, 
he took us down for the track walk and stuff like that so it was cool to have uh have him on uh in our or in my corner helping me out there that's funny you um you, you mentioned kind of stiff as a board kind of thing when you first went out and um i had brown dog wilson he uh, got some photos for me which i'll use for this uh the lead photo for this interview here but uh i was kind of mentioned hey can you get 220 on tyler gibbs canadian down there he's like oh boy i think it's gonna be rough i go no no he's he's good don't worry and he doubted it and then uh, later on he texted back hey you're right man he made it in that's good good for him he looked good yeah so uh yeah the, the first practice i was just nervous like the dirt it's like so much closer like i don't know we got the one track redone here or benny bloss got it redone and it's like peaky and stuff when you go there it's like it's not it's, it's just like the tracks just put together and it's like nothing's like really smooth and like we were last practice like they had 450 cba and then they went 250 abc and i was in the c so like hmm. the track was destroyed and the first session out like i hit the finish line super slow and i went to flat like, i didn't even go that fast and i went to flat and i'm like oh wow <sighs> and then like you know you got more of the stuff and then after like, i didn't even get like i was going double 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 through everything the first session and then the second session i like manned up and like um went the sand section wheelie quad or whatever you want to oh, call that triple that. so uh doing that stuff and then turn double triple triple like i started getting everything in the second qualifier and like the whoops when we went out for the first session we couldn't skim them they were like it was almost like i i don't even know they were just like like from san diego to the this round like from when i did supercross the one in the san diego held up a lot better like the dirt this dirt was just like you had ruts everywhere and i mean i i that's what you get on the east coast but i was not expecting it to be like like that i was like oh okay <laughs> but uh by the third session um i mean yeah i was still a little bit like a little like nervous like you know your last session out and you gotta i'm sitting 38th i'm like i gotta i gotta put something down so uh got to the whoops good got i did like one really good lap on the last lap and and put me 34th and i was like whoo that feels cool just uh just to make it in like that and then um yeah well because you must have been a bit nervous too because you know you're sitting i think like 37th after the first qualifier and stuff but then you saw that everybody was going faster in the second ones so that'll be moving you down so you're like oh man i better i better improve too and you're like are they just going faster yeah, it's, it's hard because like you don't know where you are until yeah. everything's done so like i had no idea we were, we were just like i was 12th or 15th in the B thing. Like that's, we kind of like, were like doing the math off the times. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then like last lap, I ripped a good lap and I'm like, I better be in. <laughs> and uh, like I radioed in on the right back. He's like 34th. And I'm like, ah, oh, sigh of relief. But uh, yeah, I then we went into the heat race and stuff and uh, I just didn't get a good jump. And then I was back there and uh, it's, it's hard. Like I was just, I was a little timid on the first lap. I needed to be more like Sandy, but I wasn't. But uh, I think that just comes with more like just the gate drops and just getting out there. But well, uh, hey, speaking yeah. of that, like you're known as a really good starter, so it must be funny to get there and go, okay, yeah, I'm a really good starter. But I look over there, and there's uh, well, there's Hayden Deegan, there's Austin Fork. You know what I mean? Like it's like, oh, yeah, really good. and like <laughs> it obviously doesn't help when you're four gates from the outside. Yeah. And, you know yeah. that doesn't uh doesn't really do you too good and then lcq i thought there was inside and i thought maybe i could do something there but uh yeah, i got pinched off and then i mean yeah i got 17th i mean i'm not proud of it but um it's uh definitely definitely like now that i got the first one on the way i know what to expect and stuff and i'm pretty sure since you make it if you make a nice show you get put in a b practice so I'll be in B practice, which will be a lot less sketchy. Not right. sketchy. I wasn't really even sketchy. It was just the track was just destroyed. So now that, uh, especially going to Daytona, that thing's going to be crazy. So it'll be probably good to be out there in the earlier sessions. Right. They get a little more spread out too in Daytona, which is nice. But you, you, like you mentioned, sometimes there's such a discrepancy in guys who haven't done one, but they're fast. So they're, they end up in the C. And then there's guys that are just trying their, you know, and are quite a bit slower. So there's a huge difference in skill out there. But B class is not so broad. Yeah. B class is more guys who've, you know, made it. The C class is it's not even like it, it's just i mean the track's gnarly because it's you know, a lot because lately they've been doing 450s first or no, yeah 450 has been going first for everything for some reason i don't know why but it's uh yeah it's just you don't know what you're gonna get and 
I went I went all the way to the left for time or the first practice, thinking he's going to point on the left hand side because the left hand first turn. Right. But he pointed to the right, so I had to wait for everybody to go. And then like, he couldn't just go. Oh. Like he he like if you went, you get in trouble. Like you actually have to like wait for him to point you off. Right. So I'm like, oh, the first the first practice, I'm like what is going on like there's you couldn't even get a solid lap and then the second practice the first time qualifier i went first it was so cool i was like i was up front the whole practice like nobody <laughs> passing like like if you weren't the first three guys like you ain't getting a good lap in so uh yeah nice so well um well actually i got to talk to the actual kind of the race there a couple of questions for you but learn like looking back like like learning wise and stuff like that oh my oh my van's ready <laughs> that's my van <laughs> Can you hear it beeping? Yeah. <laughs> I'm driving to Florida now. I get uh, that's another story, man. Uh, anyway, um, okay, okay, hang up. How do I get rid of this guy? Anyway, um, he's gone. So, what are, like learning wise? Like you mentioned, you got to get laps in quick. You got to get a heater in quick. Otherwise, you could get screwed. Next thing you know, your checkered flag goes and you didn't get one in. So you got to learn the track and go fast off the bat, right? Yeah, you got to learn the track and uh, like I didn't get the one rhythm into i think i did it once in practice and then once in the night show like it was like like i, I mean i got i got the the big scary line that unfortunately austin forker crashed on i got mm. like i came off and i'm like i have to jump that and i'm like it was terrifying because like you have to like wheelie drop and you have to clutch it to go over but you also have to remember there's like there's like ruts so right. you can't go too deep but you don't want to clip it and uh yeah i did that a bunch of times in qualifying after we we're going two three three and that was just like pick a rut and just hope you didn't get kicked like you just were like okay well here we go i'm either gonna go right or i'm gonna go left or i'm gonna get kicked and if you made it to the first one well then you landed and you just held it on and hit the second one and right. i was just like hey i was watching Ooh. i can't remember who it was that was doing it but they were landing on top of the table then doubling off and then like tripling out it seemed i don't know if that was any yeah I, or not. I wasn't about i was like no no i wasn't doing that no <laughs> Cool. Okay. So, hey, did you also know? Um, okay. So, actually, let's talk about that heat race because you kind of they were showing it's pretty good. They don't even show after each lap. They kind of if you pass someone, they're kind of showing it's kind of uh, as it happened. So you're kind of 16, 17, 16. You're up to 15th at one point. End up 18th in the in the first heat. Were you in some good battles? Like, were you seeing? Yeah. How was I it? was in some good. I was up there like bad start, but I worked my way up quickly. But then uh, I was just riding like I, I the tra I, I, I didn't ride. Like I was trying to cut stuff down. Like I should have been just hitting the turns, but I was so like the track was smooth, but I was like so used to just having it be gnarly that I was like trying lines that weren't ready yet. Mm -hmm. I just needed to just once I went to the LCQ, I worked on that more. Like, hey, the berms are good. Like, there's no ruts. Like, I kind of got a little caught up in that. And like, even though we were in 15th, like these guys were like, obviously it's a, like it was like if you if you left the door open just a little bit, someone was like right there. So it was like <laughs> kind of caught me off guard a little bit like you know it's like, like in canada if you, let, if you leave the door open forward hey, in, the, in canada indoors if you leave the door open for a second that uh, tyler gibbs is there yeah so uh <laughs> but no it's just, it was just it was just different like it's just uh i had to be more like just i think i think now like going to daytona hey the tracks i mean i don't know how daytona's gonna be but they're gonna prep it a lot so it's gonna be a lot better not thinking me going out there thinking it's gonna be foot peg deep ruts everywhere which there was oh, in like the rhythms be. and stuff. Oh, don't worry, still. Daytona could be. <laughs> but the but the corners and stuff, uh, they fix all the bull turns and stuff. And I was wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. I just wasn't. But uh, yeah, so I was up there in fifteenth, and then I kind of just got a little tight. And then uh, yeah, eighteenth. Um, definitely not where I want to be, but um, I mean, it's a start. We made it. In. We made it in. That was that was goal number one. Right. And uh, now it's just you know get a start and I feel like if we get a start we'll uh we'll try our try my hardest to run up there right it's funny because it's just all progression right for you first timers you just hell you just want to make it through the whole you know get comfortable on the track then you want to make the night show now you want to start to make you know you want to get closer to that main which obviously gets tougher and tougher but hey um LCQ you were kind of uh in a good little group and did you know you were with our old friend Logan Lightsell too yeah i was i was behind logan for a little bit i almost actually ran into him because he like <laughs> he we went on and off and he just like like took his hand off the bar and slowed down and i almost rode right into him <laughs> and then all of a sudden he just like decided that like, i'm gonna go fast and just started ripping i don't know what 
I don't know what he was doing because I, I almost passed him. And then all of a sudden he was like, you know what? I'm going to go fast. So, uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, that was that. And then, he, yeah, I just, he probably saw your Canadian flag on your gas tank and said, I don't think so. Canuck. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> but no, he was riding good. I was actually, he was like really impressed me actually from racing this summer and stuff. Like he's, uh, definitely, uh, a super cross guy for sure nice so now um you kind of like you said you, it's, it's all progression you're like okay i'm a night show guy for sure what uh like what is it, it has to i mean it all starts qualifying right you have to qualify so you can get a gate pick yeah you have to i have to just uh qualify better if i can qualify you know 25th 20th then um that will help me get a better gate pick so just uh i just gotta do that nice man all right so when are you actually leaving for daytona Oh, uh, Wednesday, someday, sometime Wednesday. Okay, nice. What are you driving? What are you driving? Uh, I haven't, I don't fully know yet, but <laughs> sometime Wednesday. What are you driving? Uh, we're going to rent a car and then drive there because it's cheaper than taking my van. So oh, that's funny. That's what we talked about uh, in our last interview. Yeah, go ahead. You can get the, probably some little mini baby car and why not it's got cruise control my van does it so that, that'll be nice yeah man get a get an efficient car load it up and away you go man Perfect. yeah load it up and it's 60 bucks or 50 60 bucks to fill every versus i don't know or even 40 bucks yeah you won't even get, you won't get 60 in it no way not in the states you won't no so 40 bucks versus my van is like usually 75 <laughs> so yeah well, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I'm going to, um, once I hang up here and put this up, I'm uh, I'm going to pick up my van and I'm hitting the road right now. I'm going to try to make that money race in, uh, at Pax Tracks on Wednesday. Yeah, that, that that looks cool, but the entry fees are expensive. So, uh, got to, but it looks like a cool race. Big yeah, money, I, but uh, yeah, the entry fees are a little steep for, for me. So It is, but if you're going to, I mean, depending on who's signed up, if you're getting top tens, you're making that and more back. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is for sure. But okay, man. Well, um, uh, yeah. It was. Congrats on uh, another one. Actually, getting in there. I know you feel better now because you weren't forty first with somebody getting hurt. You made it right in, so that's a cool feeling. Now we got to now be, being known up cool. here. You're known as an indoor guy. You know, it's like oh, he's good at indoors. Now we're going to Daytona, which is a little more outdoor style. You think you're going to be comfortable? Uh, yeah. I was like, um, Benny was saying it's more. It's it's just it's just super cross. Like it's people. Like, obviously, they got a couple sections where it's a little faster. You know, we're gonna have some sand here and there, but like. It's still super cross. Still right. got whoops. It's still got rhythm lanes. I mean, you're gonna have those. It looks like it has like a couple switchback sand turns, but like, it's not like you know, it's not a section where there's a long set of rollers with a, <laughs> you know, a tabletop. Like, it's uh, still really super crossy. Benny was saying so. Um, yeah, it's definitely gonna get ruddy. It's gonna be like a outdoor. It's gonna be ruddy super cross. So uh, hopefully that can play in my favor and. Um, but that can help me a little bit. All right. Well, we're going to have more Canadians to watch there, too. So that's kind of cool. So um, that'll be fun to see. And, um, yeah, what else? I guess, uh, obviously, you're not doing the arena cross the night before. No. You're not doing the GNCC the day after. No, it will be. Uh, the plan <laughs> is to, you know, go there, do well again, and then take do the long drive back. Oh, you are going all the way back? Yeah, I'll we'll drive all the way back to Robbie's ride and then... Make another Go drive to Alabama. Yeah, wherever that is, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> nice, man. Well, okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll, let, I'll end it there. I'll let you go, man. That's awesome. I, like I say, I got uh, to hit the road myself now. You got to hit the road soon. Um, good luck in Daytona. It's going to be cool to have you there. I'll uh, obviously get more coverage of my own, so I'm looking forward to that. That'll be good. Um, and, oh, I just heard a bike out here. Two-stroke? Yeah, they're, uh, everyone's riding outdoors today. Robbie's making them do uh, – they've been riding just half of it, but – it was really hot today, like really, really hot. So they're just riding half the track, but they're working on sprints and stuff. So they rode it backwards to the morning, and then they're riding it the normal way this afternoon. Nice. Oh, hey, I wanted to add, too, because Jeff Crutcher, the owner of your team there, he, he always sends out these post-race uh, emails and stuff. And I tell you, he's, those are really good, actually. Do you read them? Uh, some of them, yeah. If I have time, <laughs> I check them out. But usually I'm, I'm pretty busy right. with uh, riding and bike work and training and all that stuff it's uh when it when the afternoon comes or when the evening comes around and it's supper time it's i try to just relax and get the body recovered because uh these days are we put a lot of hours on the bikes riding with riding down here at robbie's so uh right. just like to kind of kick my feet up and relax and charge the batteries for the for the next day because the 
a lot, a lot of work that goes in during the week down here. Nice. Well, I like it when he, uh, he's obviously sounded really happy with how things went. And that was cool. And I also liked when he said, uh, because he has obviously puts a big plan in place, people taking care of this and that. And he's like, if you see me with a broom in my hand, that means things are going to plan and everything's good. I have time to have, just clean up. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's good. Nice, yeah. man. Okay, well, hey, why don't you, uh, who do you want to thank, man? We'll let you go. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Jeff Crutcher for the, the opportunity to come down here and race. Creo Racing, Bees Moto Lab, Hoosier Tires, Bell Ray, Just One, Skills Gear. Um, they have, you know, we have some of the sweetest gear out there. Um, oh, let's see who else. There's, we got Pro X. We have, there's uh, Holland Wheels. Um, we got Race Tech uh, Gold Valves. We have ODI. There's just the Guts Racing. The list goes on and on and on. And, uh, Obviously, my people at home are helping me out. West Coast Cobra, um, Pacific Coast Excavating, Temple Metal Roofing, Rhino Power, um, and then all the everyone back at home. It was uh, super cool to, you know, obviously I don't go on my phone on race days, but uh, driving home and getting to look at all the messages and uh, mm-hmm. to everyone that said good job and you're killing it and keep up the good work and we're uh, proud of you. It's, uh, it's such a cool feeling that, uh, you know, you have so many people back home that are rooting for you. I want to see you do well. So, uh, I just want to thank all those people. And then obviously, uh, Robbie and Robert, uh, for all their help, you know, helping me with training and becoming a better supercross rider each day. Uh, can't give a, enough thanks to those guys also. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Nice, man. It must seem funny to Americans that, uh, a Canadian comes down to do a race and the entire country in the sport gets behind them. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it's crazy. The amount of people who, uh, you wouldn't think, uh, <laughs> what support you are you know dming you saying hey good job and stuff it's uh it's a super cool feeling nice man hey what uh, last thing what uh, what do you do on your long drives podcast or what kind of music do you listen to i usually sometimes i just listen to nothing i just sit there and <laughs> just look at the road but uh since sean's with a mechanic he has to listen to music so either we just listen to the radio or we put on I don't know, some, some country and just you know sit there but if i'm doing if i'm by myself i'm just nothing just straight looking and <laughs> driving and i'm just uh thinking about what i got to do to get better and uh yeah nice you know what i do sometimes if i if i have the music off or i'll look at two things two random things out the window and i try to make a song that goes along some lyrics that go combine the two Hmm. yeah sometimes it's just sometimes it's nice just to drive and don't have no music and just do your thing and, and then i don't know i think i like driving at night with music I, I find it more like keeps me going but uh during the day i could just drive i have no cruise control so like i really have to i actually have to pay attention with my speed i can't just All right put it in you know put it at 120 and go i have to actually watch it so like i'm like oh dang i wish i had cruise i could just I could just, you know, sit back and just look. But no, I actually have to pay attention. Yeah, so, that's uh, the only yeah. two the only two accessories you need, man. Some air conditioning and some cruise control. Yeah, I know. I need to I know. My dad's like, Are you this thing's not no no cruise control, it's not gonna be that far. And I'm like, Oh, it won't be that bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. Well hey, thanks for taking the time to chat with us, man, and uh safe travels and I'll see you down in Florida, assuming my van's gonna make it. Yeah, thank you, Billy. And yeah, dress, drive safe, and we'll see you probably Thursday or Friday. All right, buddy. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye.